We're all familiar with popular crypto wallets like MetaMask and Trust Wallet that actively serve millions of crypto users around the world. But the problem is these wallets are also easy targets for hackers, scammers, and bad actors. Because they are connected to the internet at all times, they are vulnerable to all sorts of attacks and schemes that could cause your crypto to fall into the wrong hands. Such wallets are called hot wallets. Now let's talk about cold wallets, which are the opposite of hot wallets. These are not as commonly used when compared to hot wallets, but offer significantly better security and less risk of being compromised. Cold wallets are wallets that are not connected to the internet, hence, they are commonly known as offline wallets. They are physical devices that usually come in the form of USB drives and can be used to store cryptocurrencies offline, making them almost impossible to be compromised by bad actors. You might have heard or seen a few of these popular cold wallets, like Ledger and Trezor. There are actually several types of cold wallets, such as paper wallets, hardware wallets, offline software wallets, and many more. So let's talk about a few of them, starting with the paper wallets. Now, just like the name, paper wallets are pieces of paper that contain your private and public keys that can be used to store and transfer cryptocurrency. The paper could have the actual keys printed on it, or it could be in the form of a QR code. Now, when using paper wallets, it's important to be extremely careful not to lose or damage the paper and also not to share the paper with anyone else because the access to your crypto is in that paper. A popular example of a paper wallet generator is Bit Address, which can generate QR codes and also print the private keys for you. Next, let's talk about hardware wallet. We already talked a bit about these. Hardware wallets are the physical devices used to store your crypto assets. Usually in the form of USB drives, these devices have an extra layer of protection for stored crypto and that's why people prefer these when looking to safe keep large amounts of cryptocurrency. Now the next on the list is the offline software wallet. These come as applications that are installed on a computer or mobile device but generates the private keys while not being connected to the internet and manages assets in an offline environment. A very popular example is the Electrum wallet. So, is having a cold wallet actually worth it? Absolutely. If you're the owner of a large sum of crypto assets, there's no better way to secure those crypto than with cold wallets, which are kept secure from prying eyes of hackers or online mistakes that could compromise your assets. Now, you also own 100% control over your crypto. There are no centralized exchanges that can restrict your access to your crypto and you can be 100% sure that you own your assets and can do whatever you want with them at any time. And what about the cons? While I wouldn't exactly call it a con, cold wallets are definitely more inconvenient to manage since they are not available on the go wherever you want. You will always need to have the physical device to access your assets. Then there's the risk of loss. Unfortunately, if you lose your cold wallet, it's almost certainly gone for good. Now, both hot wallets and cold wallets have their unique purposes to crypto investors. But remember, it's always recommended to not hold all your crypto assets in one basket.